didn't see you come in. Hey everyone, Brian Zane here with uh, WWE 2K19. It's Tuesday, December 4th, and uh, I thought, and something just fell off my uh, table over there. House is haunted. What are you going to do? And uh, my dog is growling. Yeah, definitely ghosts. Definitely ghosts in this house. But we are going to, uh, you know, ghosts be damned. Well, they are damned. That's why they're ghosts. We are going to do some, I'm going to try the million dollar tower for the first time. <laughs> We'll see how this goes, because anyone who was at the who saw me do a tower the last time, it wasn't uh, one good. I wasn't able to complete it. But I've done a couple towers since then, and so I'm curious to see. I'm going to try and become a millionaire <laughs> in this tower. We'll see how far I get with it. Uh, hello, everyone watching. Um, why must I stream while you're at school? Well, you should skip school. I'm kidding. Don't skip school. Stay in school. Oh my goodness. Oh, WrestleMania. Yep, 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 yep. Um, was this week's Raw better than last week's? I don't know, because I didn't watch it. Uh, I, 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 I mentioned before, I mentioned last week, and I mentioned on social media that I'm not watching Raw and SmackDown this week. I'm not doing Who Wore It Better. I'm taking a week off. I'm just stopping for a bit. Um... There will be content tomorrow. I will be uh, putting out my review of Joey Janela's L.A. Confidential, which took place um, last month. There we go. I want to hear how they do this again. <laughs> I can't get a, What is up with Bobby Roode's hair in this game? It's two colors. He's got the blue hair and the black hair. That's a weird look, but I do love the fact that even though you turn the music off in this game, you still get the audience chanting, glorious. Anyway, uh, when am I reviewing The Wrestler? When I reach my next Patreon goal. <laughs> That's a shoot, brother. Um, all right, pin or submission. Here we go. Ah! All right, there we go. Off to a good start. Uh, oh, double A with a two-pound super chat. Thank you. Says, you are very underrated, bro. Your show makes my day. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Double A. Nice to know Art Anderson is a fan of my work and also apparently lives in the UK now. Oh, let's take down. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm not watching Raw. I read the results for Raw last night and I'm glad I didn't watch it. I probably would have, you know, hated myself. <laughs> um, so, yeah. It, it, it is an old school TNA rematch. I wonder how many of those are going to get in this tower. I'm sure Samoa Joe's in this tower as well. Oh boy. Watch us eat it here. Ah, tower's over. <laughs> yeah, God, I feel bad for Bobby Roode. Like, I don't like his face character. He's not good as a face. He's better as a heel. Um, and he's just kind of been in this limbo ever since leaving NXT. Uh, no. Well, <laughs> hang on. Come on. Show me a counter. Yeah. Are we getting count outs here? I'm not seeing anything. Boom. A neck breaker on the floor, so it hurts more. Yeah! Nice. Go for the cover. Right away. Uh, I feel bad for the Revival. There's a lot of people on Raw right now I feel bad for. The Revival is just one of them. I don't get the logic of what they did last night, where it's, oh, well, <laughs> now we're going to make the odds really not in our favor. The Horror Prince Ghazi with a $5 super chat asks, Did you know that cells multiply by dividing? Ah, oh, shit, big counter by Bobby Root into a night breaker. Have I heard about Jack Swagger doing MMA? Yeah, I recall he signed with Bellator like right after, really soon after uh, he worked a couple APW shows. Uh, right after his Cow Palace show against Jeff Cobb, he announced he signed. I don't know, has he had a fight yet? I don't think he's actually had a fight 
uh, yet in MMA. But, you know, more power to him. If he does well, it's great. I know he's still working. I still, he's still working wrestling. So, this is a good old-fashioned wrestling match here we got going on. Oh, it's a time limit, though. Fuck. <laughs> I did not realize that. Well, time is suddenly of the essence. Uh, shit. Fuck up. Um, with the, I'm sure the revival would fit in with all elite wrestling if it actually happens. Come on. Heightened drama. I have not gotten a chance to watch MLW yet. Uh, heard good things. Oh, that's not what I wanted. No. <laughs> Don't make me waste a flippin'. Hang on. What's my uh, Styles Clash? Is just okay. Uh, what is the Dash tweet? I forget what he wrote in said tweet. Oh, he, he, he tweeted about the Young Bucks. I don't know. I feel like they'd have to tweet something pretty egregious in order to get fired. I think mentioning, um, you know, the Young Bucks, I don't think they'd get them in trouble. Now, if they're going to join them and go to, you know, some freaking, if they're going to go outside the, what do you call it, arena with a megaphone and join Cody and the Young Bucks. Yeah, he might get fired for that. Uh, hmm. That's not a bad theory that uh, apparently Bray Wyatt might be replacing uh, Braun Strowman in the TLC match. I mean, that'd be cool, I guess. Come on. Oof. Oof. Right in the mush. Um, damn it. Oh. The Bobby Roo spine buster. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, man. Well, shit. I'm running out of time here. No, I really want to watch uh, the e &C show, the Edge and Christian show. That looks really fun to me. I saw the clip of them taking the piss out of the World Bodybuilding Federation, and I definitely want to watch that whole thing. Come on. Oh, there's two props. Oh, shit. Well, that's it for me. I'm not winning this fucking thing. Ah! Look at that. <laughs> Saved by the rope break, but I'm not even close to it. Uh, will John Cena ever turn heel? John Cena is what you want him to be. Whether he's a face or a heel. Man, we're already a four-star match, and I've done, like, nothing in this fucking thing. I've, I have barely touched him. Do I ever look at wrestling forums for CAWs? I don't look at wrestling forums at all anymore. Unless you count Reddit uh, wrestling for him. Jesus. Get me out of here. I don't know if it's a lack of attention or what, but I am just sucking in this match right now. now hang on, what's the... Okay, signature. Fireman's care area. There we go, the Shogi Garoshi. Or the, oh, come on! Don't counter this shit. Come on, I need this. Ah, jeez. How do I feel about WWE tampering contract? Could you be a wee bit more specific? I don't know what you mean by that. But No! Two of them! Another rope break, maybe? Yes! <laughs> I will never be pinned! This is going to go to a time limit draw, motherfucker. Oh, my God. Dying here. <coughs> He's like wrecking my shit right now. Uh, Xavier's tweet. Oh, yeah. I agree with what uh, Greg from Good Mike Work said about, you know, like, on one hand, I can understand, like, wrestlers fighting back when fans, like, complain. But no fan is complaining about the in-ring work. I don't think anyone would question the drive and the work ethic of the wrestlers themselves. The issue is not with them. It's with creative and how they don't do their own wrestlers uh, any kind of service. Here we go, finally. Like an offensive maneuver. Ah, oh, Jesus, thank you. We got two and a half minutes to make this work. Let's go! Yatta! Oh, we... No, man. Yes! It's time! Oh, I kept the camera angle, too. Boom! 
Power bomb into a pin. Where is this coming from? Will I do my career? Uh, maybe. I could try doing that today. We'll see how I feel. I downloaded some really interesting CAWs before the stream began. But I kind of want to try them out. I'm just going to go every pin submission, every pin scenario I'm going to try and do. Ah, crap. No. You won't put me on those ropes, Bobby. Well, oh, I guess you will. Ah, oh, man. Mighty McAbee versus Mansoor. Uh, probably, McAbee will find a way to win. <laughs> I like Manny, but don't like his chances against the, the undefeated Mighty McAbee. Come on. Now. <laughs> Here we go. Shogi Kurogi time. Oh, you fucking asshole. Quit countering my shit. Oh my god, he's so good at counters. I'm not, I'm not winning this thing. Come on. No, too late. And now I'm not. Okay, that's it. Oh, you assholes. No, oh, that sucked. And it went down to the wire, too. It wasn't a thing where you would beat me quick. Oh my god. Well, that was my. That was my attempt at the tower, folks. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting those million dollars. I did not prepare myself for that. Um, let's try something else. Uh, let's not do showcase. I'm like a dangerous copyright for all that footage they use. Um, how, how can fans turn on McIntyre when he's already a heel? Yeah, let's, do, let's, try, let's try my player. Let's try my player. There we go. I'm going to try some my player out. See how it goes. Uh, my Technician, a Power Hoose, a Giant, a Cruiser, a Striker. Look at Striker. Yeah. Oh, God. I have to start from scratch. That's going to be annoying. Okay. Let's, uh, should I be myself or should I try being something else? Be what I'm not. Let's try bringing back Big Nut. Uh, yeah. It's been in for everything. Um, first let's delete the nickname. And Barber Big. Please tell me there's like a nut. Big number one. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I could make Big Hoss McGraw. Yeah, I'm gonna be buzz. I know. I know I'll be buzz no matter what. Um. Uh, yeah, let's just do Big Hoss McGraw. That is better, anyway. Oh, shit. One minute. Mick. Gotta have that lowercase c, of course. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> McGraw's not happening. He got his, uh, he had his last name deleted. Oh, what's happening? Don't go back. Go back! <laughs> yes, big hoss. Big. <laughs> Maybe there is a hoss in here. Make a mighty Maccabee. Let's see here. Is there a McGraw? I'll, I'll be McGraw if I can be McGraw. Mick. Gregor, oh, you're so close. Maybe there's a Haas. Let's see if there's a Haas. Uh, no, there's no Haas. Yeah, he's big Hasakai now. There you go. <laughs> uh, and we'll make him from somewhere in the USA. 
Let's see here. He'll be from Tejas in uh, Denton. There we go. I like that. When's WWE going to include Barry Horowitz? Oh, man. I want to see Barry Horowitz in the game. Let's see. What's Big Hoss McGraw look like under that mask? We may never know. But I'm saying, no, not, no, not that. Um, yeah, that, that looks like a big hoss to me. Oh, God, <laughs> no. It's the, 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 the template's fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hoss is in there, exactly. Parts unknown. What's my most hated Christmas movie and why is it Elf? Oh, come on, man, no. The worst Christmas movie's got to be a Christmas story. Like, okay. Let me take that back. It's not a bad movie. It's just overplayed. It's done to death. Like, I could go a year or two without ever seeing A Christmas Story on uh, on TBS or wherever they play it. All right. This hair, this one speaks to me. Um, turn it a little darker. A little more brown. Yeah, that works. Although he's wearing a mask, so I don't know if it really make a difference. Only one kind of eye. Uh, favorite blue mini match. Actually, my favorite blue mini match is when he was blue dust. And he was, he, man, he kind of like Greg Sestero all of a sudden. I think I'm going to make Greg Sestero. <laughs> I watched The Disaster Artist the other day, and uh, I thought it was awesome. Gotta make, that, gotta make the beard a little lighter, though, because it's Greg Sestero. Heavyweight, uh, mm, yeah, I think I'm 210. Now, yeah. Well, here we go, a little slider action. Kerwin White. I don't know. I know TVS plays it for 24 hours straight, and I hate it. <laughs> Grace and Stare looking real jacked, baby. Looking real jacked. Definitely, he's definitely ripped. <laughs> he's got Fat Mustafa Ali in that. What is going on? Um, uh, I hate the attire presets. Here we go. Well, Mr. Perfect action. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I don't, I don't want to undo this shit. Oh, man. Well, I guess he's Big Hosmer Draw. I'll change his name later. <laughs> he's Greg's a stare out of me. Um... Okay, with a complete move set based on your fighting style. Uh, okay, let's. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. Boom! That's his signature. His finisher is going to be. Oh, the Famouser. Got to be the Famouser. And the wake up taunt is the wake up taunt. Yeah. Get up, Johnny! Uh, yeah, Bailey, go for it. Choose your entrance. Unlock a wider selection by gambling. I mean, purchasing loot packs. Why do my vids always get restricted ads? I don't know what you mean by that. Um, I get ads. I try and think <laughs> of getting ads. I, I like to think I do. But, um, here we go. Uh, I don't know what... They all, they're all just jogging. I don't know what the difference is. There's the, the cane. Everything's like super vague except for cane. I love it. Uh, deliberately bad moves like Wasteland. Uh, don't make me pick the Wasteland. There we go. He's a Nexus original. He's a Belfast brawler. He's a generic superstar. There we go. And yeah, can I go back and edit? Uh, whatever. He's big hoss. I don't give a shit. He's 5'10. He's big hoss. <laughs> All right. In my mind, he'll be Greg Sestero. Do I hate John Cena? No, not at all. I, I, I think John Cena is great. Uh, you don't get ads on watching my videos. Oh, that's what you mean. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know why that's the case. Uh, I, I do get ads. I know I get ads sometimes. That's just the nature of YouTube. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. And I just prepare for the hope that I get them <laughs> is basically the best way I can describe it. Okay. Spend your kick points. 
do 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 do. Uh, okay. Are you ready for some DLC in my player towers? Change your faction. You can be factions even. My stats. Side plates. Cool. Um, look at my side plates. Okay, what is this? Carried away. Or carried away five. What's carried? Okay. Oh, you get water. You get XP. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mm -hmm. I see. I see. All right. Um. Oh shit! I almost missed a super chat from Mr. Sa My Seven or Sandman saying, "Good afternoon, Brian. Do you think Jerry Lynn is widely underrated?" Or does he get the recognition he deserves? Um, I yeah. Well, I think he was underrated for his time, and there were certainly people who will, you know, how do I put this? I think he's great. Jerry Lynn's awesome, but he was never given a chance to shine on a huge platform beyond, you know, ECW, and then he went to WWF. They didn't know what to do with him. The men, the champion, they didn't do anything with him. The light heavyweight champion, I should say. Uh, I think he should have got a better break there. I think if Jerry Lynn came in at a later time, like if Jerry Lynn in his prime was around today, then I think he totally would have gotten, you know, all the love, you know, that he should get. Uh, new Daily Tower, Weekly Tower, Daily Tower, Towers, Towers, Towers. Okay. Good to know. Um, God bless it. Get me out of here. <laughs> okay. My player. All right, let's. Thank, thank, thank you. This is what I wanted to do. Um, attributes. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, Double J, I think, is someone who I think gets more love now than he did in his prime, for sure. I think Double J had a lot, a, a huge uphill battle, you know, dealing with nepotism, obviously. Uh, I think it was a big issue. Oh, what is going on? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what any of this means. Hang on. These are your attributes. Several attribute categories that affect your my player's overall stats. Every fighting style. Style points. Okay. Got it. Uh huh. Appearance, no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> to use attributes, you gotta go to the my player tree. Thank you. Um, my favorite theme song of all time, like I've said before, man, it's gonna be Dan Severn. Uh, name information. Here we go. Now I know what I want. Right. Or just, we just call him Mark, I guess. Yeah, let's call him Mark. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. We gotta try something. Oh. Please tell me there's a high. Ah. <laughs> I've got a real good idea. Let's see if it. Damn it! There's no hide or. Hi. Hmm. Do you think Apollo will get his big push? Oh, jeez, I don't even know. Maybe. <sighs> Thank you all for watching me uh, play this game. <sighs> nah, I... Yeah, yeah, this is what we're doing. I mark. I don't know. That's close. <laughs> I'll I'll make it work. <laughs> oh, I should make it from San Francisco for uh, from San Francisco too. Has WWE screwed up the Ambrose heel turn? I don't know, man. Like 
I don't know where it's going with that. The whole inoculating, like he's a germaphobe all of a sudden. That's that's a twist I didn't see coming. Ambrose becoming uh, a germaphobe. Um, okay. So you said I have to go to... Oh, fuck off with your loot packs. I'm not doing this. <laughs> where is your my player tree? Oh, no! God. The disaster artist, Mark. Uh, if you want my thoughts on David Arquette's death match, you'll have to wait for my LA Confidential review tomorrow, which comes out tomorrow. Um, general Jobber elect, I love it. Uh, I'm not doing this. Hang on. I'm not doing this right now. Why do the rest of us are posing for mug shots? It's great. Um, yes, the people are infected and they're infesting. Um, okay. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing here. Where, where is the my player tree? Where's the, I see no trees. Um, all right. Can I please move? Oh, there's the tree. Okay, got it. Like an idiot. All right. Uh, okay, first twenty. Okay. Uh, I really should work on defense. I think it's the more important thing. Do I want to be better at reversals? Yes, yes, I do. Let's do that. Oh, good. It's Final Fantasy all over again. Um, strike speed. Yeah, I like that. How many stop points do I have? I just don't want to blow my stop points. Uh, I got eighteen. Okay. Let's, also I want to improve my agility. Spiaum, spiaum. Ooh, it's unlocked. What did, I, what did I unlock? I'll be a combo striker. Overcharge points, what's the overcharge point? Substyle. Um. Hmm, hang on. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. Okay. This finisher must be the disaster clutch. <laughs> uh, stamina or stamina recovery? Oh. Let's do style points. I unlocked something else. Uh, the comeback. All right. See, we're, we're getting along nicely here. Grapple offense. Reversal offense. Running offense. I'm offended. What do I think will be the WrestleMania main event this year? I think it... it whether it's some combination of Becky, Ronda, or Charlotte, I think that's going to be the main event. Just because there's such a lack of like interesting shit going on with like the men that it kind of has to be <laughs> because the female right the, the females right now are booked so much better. I think. Um, faster. He's a very fast striker. Oh, and I got another thingy. What's the thingy I got? Overcharge point. Okay, that, that's cool. I will learn what overcharges are later. Uh, is Baron Corbin the worst GM ever? I don't know. Um, he's bad. Strike reversal. Yeah, that's a good one to focus on. Just in general. Strike reversal. Yeah. Momentum. And reversal. And I unlocked a thingy. Um, Charlene Shadows, a $3 super chat, asks if by any chance I watch MST3K. Um, I used to grow up actually watching the original one. My dad and I actually watched it a lot. Um, and thank you. Um, I watched a bit of the revival. I haven't watched season two yet, but I want to watch more of it. It's just an issue of like, time, uh, you know, and having time to do it. How far does a style tree go? Man, this goes way up. Oh, boy. 
Look at all that style. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> Mark Henry had a finisher that was a rape? I don't know. Um, he humps people? Mm, I don't know. Here we go. And I guess I'll give this leg durability. Gotta have nice gams. Uh, ooh, better use their second chance in WWE, Drew, or EC3. Um, I don't know. I feel like uh, right now Drew is at a better place, but he got a earlier start. So we'll see. Um, EC3 could still do very well for himself. There we go. Boom. And what else we got going on here? Uh, reversal offense. Called it a rapey thing. Yeah, that sounds more like a viscera thing than a <laughs> than a Mark Henry thing. Might as well. As long as I'm filling this tree out, I might as well boost my defense up a bit. Um, movement speed. EC3 was in WWE before. He was uh, Derek Bateman, who came off to me kind of like an Andy Samberg character, um, like Hot Rod in particular. Um. So I think, and then he, but he, he was hilarious. He was hilarious in NXT. That was great. Um, I don't think I have, here we go. Oh, here we go. A Royal Rumble finisher. Ooh, what should I get next? I don't know. I don't know what's good. Um, ring escape. Ooh, that's actually pretty helpful. I think I'm going to get a ring escape. Thoughts on Heath Slater as a referee? That I'm so confused about. I was so like, it's crazy to, um, you know, hear what happened with Slater and Rhino. Okay, now we've used all our our uh, style points for right now, and I'm not much better off than I was. Attributes, attributes. Don't quite get these attributes. Um, so, hmm, where's my, can I, no, oh, whatever, I'll figure it out, let's, uh, Van, go into the big time, you're right, I'm not gonna watch, I read the results, here we go, that was fun. BCW is a fledgling local indie promotion. Its promoter has connections to the WWE, but it's never amounted to much. Oh, man. Oh, would they do a hacker angle where Raw gets hacked? Well, they fired Sammy Callahan already, and he was the hacker at NXT, so I don't know. Maybe they'll try it again. I don't know. Yes, Lashley's been treated way worse in his new run than his second. Oh, AJ. Oh, I didn't put captions on. This is ridiculous. He's one of the wrestlers. No, no, no. I'm part of the show. Yo, I thought wrestlers had money. Why would he be driving, around, be driving some around some crappy, crappy bug bank? See? See? Good See? point. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> not, not if Rhino's done, would you say he had a good career in general? Um, I'll turn this down so you don't have to hear the echo. Um, I mean, yeah, I think Rhino, I mean, God, I think the best careers are the ones that you get to wrestle the longest. Um... You know, he may not have been, you know, a multiple-time world champion outside of, you know, TNA or whatever, but he wrestled a long time, stayed relatively healthy, made his money. That's a success. That's a win for me. I know. I think Manny does the, does the voice of um, this is the voice of not the of the other guy, basically. <laughs> I forget his character. I'll find out soon enough. Oh, hello, Renars, my Latvian friend. Hmm. 
Yeah, I know AJ uh, Kirsch pretty well. He's the one who did the motion capturing and the voice acting for this character. And uh, he did a pretty good job keeping it kayfabe to everyone, keeping it a big old secret. Um, oh, hey, everyone. Uh, R. Felix Finch is now in the chat under Frisco Flame. Oh, he changes into his gimmick in the van. So embarrassing. Oh, well, hey, he's got his own locker room, so you can't, you can't beat that. Uh, would I ever consider doing fantasy booking videos? I've thought about it. Um, like, I think it was, uh, what pay-per-view review that I did recently where I'm like, how would I rebook this person? Uh, I forget now. Oh, Lewis Hughes and the news with a one pound super chat. It's Mr. Ooh -la -la. Oh wait, that's not. Oh shit. That's Tensai. It's sweet tea. Thank you for the super chat, Lewis Hughes. Uh, what do I think about Zelina Vega and Alexander Black getting married? Mazel tov to them, man. All right, my career hubs are points in the story where you're no longer in a match. Use Elder Sign with people to talk to objects you can interact with. Press X to select the person you want to interact with. Open up your phone menu. Um, hey, Christian Miracle from Wrestling Sins is also in the chat as well. Say hi to him, everybody. All right, icon in the top left corner. Until you have new voice messages or text messages. Go to your phone, okay? Bring my phone. Uh-huh. What can I unlock? A van! I don't know. Podcast. I want to know what the podcast feature is. I can't wait to see that. Um, okay, this is how you fill your shit. Any messages? Aw, my dad. From July 12th, <laughs> oh, I'm from Texas all of a sudden. Oh, sassafras. Uh, we're out of ice cream, so go grab some Rocky Road on your way home. And by the way, you know, oh, that's nice. I wish my parents were that supportive of me. <laughs> Uh, my fan, I love Darren Corbin. Are you kidding me? I love Darren Corbin. I worked with him uh, back in the day. Um, all right. How do I? Okay, I guess I don't get to pick Mr. Ulal on the left. All right. Yeah, I worked with him back in the day in WCWC, and again when I was back there doing commentary recently. I'm a big fan, Mr. Bloom. I've studied all your matches from your run in WWE and Japan. Really great stuff. Thanks. <laughs> You must be a true student of the game. I try to be. So why do they call you Van Gogh? Are you some kind of artist? Of course, I gave him that name because everywhere he Yes, not, not Darren Corbin, not to be confused with Baron Corbin. Different guy. Practically. So what brings you out to Uh, 7 Apex. X7 Apex 37 with a $2 super chat. Thank you so much. I'm, okay. Uh, I'll be humble. Cole's great. We won't be disappointed. Yes, I got to know subtitles soon. Nice you, Mr. Bloom, and Any Mr. wrestling podcast I'd recommend. Um, well, I love the AE podcast. I made that very well known. And uh, I like I've been starting to listen to WrestleSplania a lot. Um, I like their work. So yeah, uh that's sort of normal mode for now. Okay. Cole Quinn. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here's Manny. Okay, look. I'm gonna give it everything I have tonight, and we'll see where we stand after that. Oh, I know. She just got like straw Adam Cole. Oh, sm oh, oh, SmackDown in Austin, Felix? You should go. Just treat yourself. <laughs> so John Cena fan. I mean, like I, I mentioned before, yeah, how to wrestling another good one. All right, talk to Cole Quinn again. I'll bug him again. As I remember, people telling me that uh, this dude kind of looked like me. 
Um, yeah. Let's go to match. Criminal like Stripper. No, I mean, as far as was I a John Cena fan, uh, I think I was tired of him like everyone else in like the mid, in the late 2000s. Um, but, you know, he I think absence makes the heart grow fonder. And now that he's, you know, I don't like that he just comes back for one show and he's gone again. Um, but near the end of his full-time run, I think he was, uh, he was great. Getting much better. That's true. <laughs> Um, is WrestleMania 19 the best show I've ever been to? Good question. I mean, it was my first WrestleMania. It was also my second show I ever went to, period, in wrestling. The first was like an indie show at a high school gym just like this. And, uh, my second show was Mania 19. Oh, I didn't realize that was his post. It's Mark. It's no music. Marky Mark and the Harry Bunch. Fred Durst live. You know, that's yeah, he was good. He was good live. Uh, Limp Biscuit was fun. Oh, yeah. Cole Quinn, baby. Look at that. That gimmick. He's like part Tyler Breeze, part Rick Martel, part Brutus Beefcake. He's got it all, man. <laughs> He's like the character from the Cafe movie who's like the French Canadian Native American. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. Psychology. No lockups. Epic sax man. Here we go. Yes, KFAM is now available to watch on YouTube. Uh, we don't... Oh, what's wrong with Rico? I thought Rico's great. Uh, by the way, uh, I haven't got my plug in. For those of you who are not fans, uh, who are not Patreon backers, right now, uh, as of this morning, uh, this week's video has been released. It was, uh, oh, shit. It was a review of the best ripoffs in wrestling. So from Ric Flair ripping off Buddy Rogers, Demolition ripping off the Legion of Doom, and more, and everything in between. Who, who can forget Black Machismo? Uh, they're all there, or a lot of them are, at least. And so, uh, check it out. $5 gets you in the early access on Patreon. Otherwise, it comes out on Thursday. I'm loving this, like, stuff on the PA. It's great. Was Russo a good on-screen character? I didn't watch a lot of WCW when Russo was actually on screen and like um, playing the powers that be. I saw like you know smatterings of it, but it was. And I also didn't watch any TNA when he was there either. So I'm kind of uh, unfamiliar with his on-screen work. But uh, you know, that's all I can say. PewDiePie or T Series? I'm not. I don't watch PewDiePie, and um, I don't know what T Series is. Yes, and Legion of Doom ripped off the Road Warriors. That's another important thing. They they ripped off the Mad Max. Can WWE redeem themselves? Ooh, I don't know. Only thing get in store credit. Hey yo, uh, what's my? There we go. Come on, come on. Oh, basement dropkick. Remember my are from Ohio? Hmm. Oh, and I'm blown up. DVDs for sale. Oh, man. They really are doing a good job capturing the indie spirit right here. But what the hell? What's my... My signature, I thought, was the super kick. Um... Will I ever come to Puerto Rico? Someone flies me out, man. Uh, yeah, okay, I've got the... i got the stamina, and i got the signature activated. Oh, gosh. Now Cole Quinn's getting his heat in. Sex 
sexy eight hit for our time. Whoa, when's he gonna, when are you gonna finish her? Oh shit! Famous her! Ugh, and he's bleeding! He's bleeding hard away. <laughs> Will the games ever get a new engine? I hope so. Maybe one day they'll. I mean, I don't see why they should reinvent the wheel right now, but um, I'm sure eventually they'll get to it. Come to Puerto Rico, the shining star of the Caribbean. <laughs> Oh, hi, Mark! Smart. Fine for bleeding. Black and white the screen. Do I miss Roman? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I think... It's so funny. If we're, you know, Well, it's sad that Roman's sick, but had he stuck around, I think people would still be hating on him. Um, but, you know, it's, it's unfortunate what happened. Van Gogh. Oh, that's why I call him Van Gogh. <laughs> or later, here I come. I forget my ass kicked for five minutes. Lewis Hughes in the news with another one pound super chat. Wall to wall sent in Orlando. Future opponents. Waste measurements for the NXT title. Not exactly. To be honest, I'm not a fan of your Mr. CQ character. You hmm. need to come up with something different. It's not really a character. He does look like me. It's crazy. Full disclosure, I don't think you'll be heading to NXT. Oh. Soon at least. You're just not ready. I was actually more impressed with your opponent over here. Wait, what? <laughs> He's not bleeding anymore. It's a blood packet. You'll have a trial match for an up and coming WWE event. Ooh. Yes. Mark is getting a trial match. Because you were supposed to be here to scout. Past Brian versus new Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Bloom took time to find a kitchen big enough for his head and set up a meeting with the kids. The weather in Reno, that's pretty cold and cloudy right now. There we go. Ah, oh, he's mad. Uh, I did grab wrestling in the 90s. I, well, in the late 90s. I am 33 now. Oh, putting you over? Hey, I got some insider lingo here. Hmm. Oh. Super might be a rebound move. I've listened to some 83 weeks, but not a ton. Who would decide our title belts? <laughs> oh man, this is like hitting home. Well, that nickname's not as much fun anymore. Well, that nickname's not much fun anymore. <laughs> That's great. Am I gonna send Cornette a Christmas card? I need to find. It. I don't have his address. Um. Brutus Beefcake the hipster. The Brutus Beefcake's son. Man, Baron Blade aged a lot between um, the last 2K games of this one. BCW handshake. I haven't watched enough of OTRS. I know he like I know that dude likes to start shit on Twitter and just likes to argue. <laughs> And that's what you want to do is fine, but it's not for me. I, I don't I try not to get into Twitter arguments. Want to go to the performance center or the power plant? I don't know. I'd love to see him. I, I would love to check out, you know, the performance center, get a tour of that place. Ah, Mr. CQ, hottest superstar. Ooh. I watched it since I was 13, yeah. Which is you know, a kid. Next week. All right. This is fun. I'm glad I had a chance to do this. Oh, shit. Soak it in. Is way bigger than the high school gym. <laughs> and the VFW. And the state fair. Combined. Don't let that bother you. 
All that matters is mm. ring Thank you for watching this, by the way. Um, Good point, but I assume their rings aren't covered in rust. <laughs> Mysterious Triple nose. We're on that. Do indie promotions really have secret handshakes? I can't tell you. Well, he is a mark. This is my guy that Matt Bloom wanted to bring in for the tryout match tonight. Nice to meet you. You trained him, Baron? I did. He's one of my top <laughs> I love at the announce team in the background. Like, they can't get rid of them. They're just actively talking. Oh, wow, it's a really good match, you guys. Do you have an opponent for him yet? I do. Surviving in WWE is all about how you handle adversity. So you're going to face <laughs> the toughest guy we have. Actually, the toughest. Now, oh, I heard you're not supposed to be able to win this one. <laughs> so I'm not going to try that hard. Go introduce yourself to Braun. Don't worry. He won't hear <laughs> I like the face he's making. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's so Braun. Have I ever thought about opening my own promotion? God, no. I, I never want to, I just want to book a show or run shows. That's not me. Victim? Victim? So how do you want to die tonight? <laughs> I'd like to survive tonight if that's okay with you. What I meant for oh boy. And what type of match do you want to get these hands? What type of match do you want to get these hands? Um What am I supposed to pick? Is there is there a preference? Wait a minute, like, I don't get this, like... What have you thought I was actually going to let you choose the type of match tonight? We're going to do what I want to do. Obviously, I've won a bunch of matches in the Indies. Like, I thought the last match we had was your first match. So it'll be a steel cage match. That way you can't run from me. <laughs> steel cage. No, doesn't matter. Great idea. That was my second choice. Huh. Okay, here we go. Oh, goody. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Good, good. Tokens? I would, I, would like to get a new, I would like to see a new Legends game come out. I like the idea of Legends of Wrestling. Um, oh, here we go. They wouldn't let him execute his vision for a new never-before-seen match type. That's why Baron left. Oh, boy. Can't wait to see that chapter unfold. Anyway, um, here we go. Just make the most of your opportunity. We we'll lose. Matt Bloom brought you in here because he saw something in you. Just go out there and show him that again. Oh, and try to get some free swag. I'd like a <laughs> Budio's lunchbox. I kind of have bigger things in my mind than a Budio's lunchbox. Like a replica title belt? I'm Braun Strowman. Just trying to keep the mood light. <laughs> okay, tokens by card packs. Yeah, and I liked the Legends games uh, in, ex in, in the premise, but the execution was terrible. Those games play like shit. So I'd like to see, like, a better Legends game. But I don't know. Maybe one day... Alexa Bliss. I've seen some of, I've seen some of your indie stuff online. stuff online. Not bad. No. Not bad. Oh, here we go. Options. Dialogue branch. Choose wisely. I can't believe how tiny you are in person. Thanks. I appreciate you saying that. Oh, no. She did it to me. <laughs> she did it to me, too. I fell for the hey, insincere. Oh. I've seen what he's capable of when he was my partner in the mixed match challenge. Based on that. <laughs> um. Don't fucking do Jack. 
Octopus visual novel. Oh, jeez. Um, what else are you going to say? Okay, uh, yeah, I saw that one already. Hey. Try and run. And I can't believe how stupid you are. <laughs> All right. Uh, options. Victory! Let's see how the trees look. I got style points. Uh, I got style points. Lots of style points. Can I come to, to, to Toledo, Ohio? If they, if they pay me. If they fly me out. Um, pod people. Pod people. I'll get that later. Um, the hammer throw. Yeah. Yeah, pal. What else should I do? Um, arm power! Grab speed. Pshow! Uh, yeah. Top rope diver. Top rope diver! You've been out too long in the midnight sea. Uh, is the game worth getting? Yeah, I, I, it's, I, I, this is the first time I've done this particular game mode, but I've had fun playing 2K19, so I would definitely you know, recommend it. Uh, grapple Offense. Will I work for NXT? Uh, depends on what the opportunity is, you know? Here we go. Strength. Do I like Fire Pro Wrestling? Um... Yeah, I played it. I played it more since the live stream I did for Fire Pro Wrestling, and I uh, I did enjoy it. Um, it's fun to play, and that might be the, one of the next ones I play. It, it probably next week I'll try and do a uh, another live stream. It'll either be World Tour or um, Fire Pro. Oh, okay. R one and press. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got it. That's cool. Everyone else does a suicide dive. I'll do it too. <laughs> it's a good question. Is Jim Cornette one of the best heels in wrestling right now for the amount of heat he gets with his words? I mean, you could argue that. That's not a bad idea. It's a springboard. Yeah, I'm never doing springboard spots. <laughs> I hit in the air. Head dirt. Whoa, what is with his head? Weird alien looking head damn thing. What's going on there? We got an overdrive boost or overcharge point. I'll figure out what that is later. Stamina recovery. Stamina. Ooh. There we go. There we go. A little boost to Ruski. And now I'll. I'm all leveled up. I'll go to my match. <laughs> I'll check my moves later. Mark versus Braun Strowman. Oh boy. Uh, let's see what else do I have to talk about going on this week. Um, hope you know, I hope you all who I hope you all enjoyed my Backlash O One review. If you saw it, uh, I'm pretty proud of how that one turned out. And uh, like I mentioned, the Patreon thing. It's uh, this week's episode is worth, uh, wrestling's best ripoffs. Mark. <laughs> I mean, it fits really. Um, Baron Blades, 2K Gabe Sapolsky. <laughs> um, what else to talk about? Uh, like I said, tomorrow, instead of who wore better, it's I'm reviewing GCW's uh, Joey Janela's LA Confidential, which took place a few weeks ago. That was a very interesting show. I watched it with Jay Biggs. He and I are review reviewing it together. And what else is going on? Man, a lot, I mean, just trying to stay busy. The rest of this month, you'll see uh, some more countdowns. You'll see also a certain film review for a certain holiday romp starring a certain A-lister. I wasn't at the WCWC's 25-hour marathon show. I was here in, in, in Nevada. <laughs> um, no, nah, they, they asked me to be a part of that, and I couldn't. My thoughts on last night's Raw. 
Uh, I don't know because I didn't watch it. I read the results. It looked like crap. Yeah! Don't leave the cage. Well, wait. I was just trying to win. There we go. Yeah. Just trying to win by pinning. Yeah! Oh, no! I'm dead! Oh! Oh, God! Shit! Oh, shit! Oh, oh shit! He kicked out! What is this? Who is this asshole? Roman Reigns? Ah! I will not be denied! <laughs> oh shit! Oh man, it's a comeback! It's a comeback of all time! Oh shit, son! I can't believe it! Oh, whoops! Oh no! <laughs> I will not be watching SmackDown. I'm not watching Raw or SmackDown this week. I made it perfectly clear. Shit, too fast! Oh no! <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Do I plan on working for Defy? Again, I'll work for anybody if they hire me. Oh shit! <laughs> Mark will not be denied. This, these crowd, this crowd's on their feet. This crowd can't believe what they're seeing. The heart. The tenacity. The tenacity. Oh god. His head caved in. Oh shit. No. No, not a submission. Oh. I'm not I'm too I'm too young to die. Stop. Get away. Ah. Urgh. Oof. Oh no! Come on, that's my one chance. Oh shit! No, <laughs> you're not gonna get me down. Ah, oh, Jesus. Da. Ah! Boom. How's he doing this? Where's he getting this from? Honestly, if this, imagine this actually happened. Like, this would be the most over anyone has ever been. There's, he's choking him with a spoon. Mark's got him. <laughs> oh my God. He's blown. <laughs> Have you seen this guy in the Indies? He's pretty good. Shut up. Shut up, Saxton. Oh my god! <laughs> he did it! He hit him with a famous sir! He did it! Oh no! <laughs> I got a two count. Yes, exactly. Felix makes a good point. If you want to see myself and or our Felix Finch, tell your local promoters, because they're the ones who make it happen. Ah! Oh shit! <laughs> well, this match has officially gone on longer than I think anyone would have expected. Oh no! Oh shit! Is he gonna do it? Yeah! <laughs> he will not be denied! <laughs> ah! I'm marking out, bro! I'm marking out for Mark! <laughs> oh, Cole taking the piss. How we learned this guy's name? Oh shit, he's down to yellow. His head's down to yellow. Now's my chance. Oh no. What are the odds this guy can pull off the upset over Braun? One in a billion, one in a trillion? Just keep pummeling him. Show no mercy. Ah! Keep going for the head. Aim for the head and the body will die. Ah, also go for the legs too. The mark out. The mark of excellence. Oh yeah. There's there's totally so many opportunities you can have with uh, catchphrases, merch opportunities, finisher names. He took him down. Taking him down to Pound Town. Boy, that came out wrong. Get these marks. Ah! <laughs> Just fucking unrelenting. 
Uh, Jesus. This is amazing. Oh, shit! <laughs> We're all bleeding here. We all bleed down here. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> Oh, what the? Shit, I don't know stamina. Oh man, I was gonna do my freaking. Da! Ah! <laughs> I can't believe it. This actually had to happen. I'm dead. Oh man, can it happen, folks? Do you believe in miracles? It's gonna happen, folks. Would I recommend Warzone? No, I wouldn't recommend those games. Those games have aged terribly. Oh, God. He's taking three famous players. He's taking three mark out moments. Ah. No. <laughs> no. That was my one chance. I can't believe it. <laughs> Do you guys remember Baron Blade? Oh no! Not the submission again! Get me out of it! No! When everything was going so good! Ugh! No! I'm too young to die! I've seen things you wouldn't believe! Ah! <laughs> this is the best thing I've seen all day! This is amazing! Yeah, oh no. Oh shit. Oh no. Not the reverse choke slam. The movie only did like two times and never again. <laughs> oh, that's it. Ah. Oh. Well, I tried. That was a pretty goddamn valiant effort. Match of the night right there. Boom, boom, boom. What's Carm doing in the impact zone? Oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> you did a good oh, bye, Mark. Really? Feels like I got run over by a big bearded tank. <laughs> Is there enough for him to sign me? I don't know. But no matter what, you always... Oh, that's nice, Baron. You're so supportive. CW. Thanks, oh, I did make Braun look weak. He took three finishers. Positive things from you tonight. Most importantly, you didn't seem intimidated by being on the bigger stage or by being locked in the cage with a monster. So with that being said, we'd like to offer you an NXT... Whoa, contract on the spot. Over and return it at tomorrow night's show. You have one night to think about it. Shake your hand, but I think three of my fingers are dislocated. So Thank you, Spade. Me. Rest up, and we'll finalize everything tomorrow night. That was quick. You did it. I'm shocked. <laughs> me too. I just can't well, then that doesn't work out perfectly. I know. I'll definitely be sad to see you go. He's become one of my top guys. You'll be fine, though, right? I mean, you got Cole and the rest of the crew, yeah? Sorry, what, what am I doing? This is your time to celebrate, not to worry about me and BCW. You and hmm. the That's great. Go talk to H, oh, man. I'm really excited for... Uh, let's just talk for a bit about WrestleMania weekend. Uh, this is how I signed Levi. This is how I signed him. Sounds good. But, um... I now, I'm excited about uh, WrestleMania weekend. Just last week, I bought uh, the flight... For myself and Jay Biggs to go out there, and so um, still trying to coordinate all I'm doing there. But it's uh, you know things are coming together for Mania weekend. Of course, I will be at WrestleCon, and uh, I'm trying to get me and Felix and Levi booked where we can. And um, it's uh, I think it's going to be a fun time that weekend. And well, of course, the fact that we're going to be in New York City is going to be great. If I don't get booked anywhere, like I don't. I won't mind because there's New York and I always wanted to go back there. I went there after uh, college for a week and uh, loved it. And I've always wanted to go back. Crowd. 
One dude. Am I going to G1? No, I'm not. <laughs> well, Spade, I hope to meet you there. Hmm. Oh shit, suicide! <laughs> hmm. Am I a Blazers fan? Nah, not really. I'm not really much of a basketball fan. I mean, I have followed the Blazers a little bit in the late 90s, early 2000s. That's about it. Can I see any Broadway shows? No. I've already spent as much money as I want to spend on this trip right now in terms of all the prep, hotel, flight, WrestleCon, Mania tickets. So, damn good. I'm just going to walk around. I just want to walk around Manhattan and just like see the sights and all that crazy stuff. But, ugh. Less than 24 hours. After we offer you the opportunity of a lifetime, you get into a fight with a fan outside a WWE event, and there's video. I'd really love to hear this explanation. Well, look at the video. It's like someone jumped in from behind. What's the explanation? Hmm. I am so... Sorry, I never intended for this to happen, and I can promise hmm. you it will never, never happen again. No, don't spoil it for me. For an apology, I asked for an explanation. Oh, I put the wrong one. You need to understand, this isn't some rinky-dink independent promotion running shows at the Elks Lodge. This is a global company. We can't have our WWE superstars <laughs> Could I have me traded. fights with fans. It's unprofessional, and it will not be tolerated. On top of that, you were caught on camera bashing NXT. Saying you were going hmm. straight to the main roster. Who in the hell do you think you are? Look, I was just having fun with the fans, okay? I was just about to say that I would be happy to go to NXT, and then I was attacked. Oh, I bet. This is what I get for trying to do business with one of your... Oh, friends, boy. Aaron. Come on, Hunter. Can't you just find him or something? No, I can't find him if he's not on the active roster. I'm rescinding the contract offer. Ah, oh, no! Huge slam on the Elks Lodge. Don't ever bring me one of his guys again. Understood. This is on you, too. Remember what I said about making me regret my decision? Congratulations. You did it in record time. Oh, man. Hey, this wasn't your fault. The H-Man giveth and the H-Man taketh away. <laughs> I haven't noticed if Barry Blade sounds like Patton Oswalt. Oh, man. Uh, let's see here. Speaking of Patton Oswalt, I will be actually seeing him live at the end of the month here in Reno. Really excited about that. Breaking records on day one. Mo most mishandled NXT call up? Yeah, I'd say Bobby Roode, probably. Um, hard to argue. <laughs> I think after this next scene, I'll probably jump out and uh, do <laughs> go back to doing some matches and stuff. It was too early for that to be funny. Sorry, I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. Good news. Which call that wants to offer me a contract again? No, better. Better. What could be better than that? Well, after news of your NXT contract being pulled hit the internet, your fan fight video went. Oh, fan video went viral. Sorry, make that two point two million. Do I know? I, I'm aware of WXW. I haven't uh, watched any of it, but I do know what it is. Um, Nature Boy Paul Lee. I uh, I can't believe he's gotten as far as he has, ripping off Ric Flair. Oh boy. Ah. The Indians are going to book him everywhere now. 
because he's the guy who got beat up by a guy with a suicide mask. That's right. Oh, man. Well, if it wasn't for some guy spoiling it for me, I feel like the, the ending, the, the twist is going to be such a big deal. Any more K-Fab Kitchens coming out? Uh, yeah, there's going to be more K-Fab Kitchen definitely in the future. Um, what was it? Yeah, I did the one last week. Oh, excuse me. Last week or two weeks ago, uh, doing the French onion soup. That was fun. There's a couple more I definitely want to do before I get into um, the new cookbook, which comes out next year. Okay. What next? Let's just, uh, okay. Can I get... Wait, what? Oh, I see. It was an older message. Uh, that's why he had the first... I was confused with the first match thing. <laughs> next week. My own recipe book? Nah. Like, I'm good at reading recipes. I don't think I'm good at actually cooking and being creative enough in the kitchen in that... Uh, regard. Oh, thank you, Myers. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. Oh, outdoor show. I've always wanted to work more outdoor shows. Welcome to the new reality of The school principal. Uh, any bad K Fab kitchens? I'm trying to think of what K Fab, what, which ones I've done lately or in the past. I think the last one I did before French onion soup was the Taker Tetrazzini, and that sucked. I didn't like that one at all. Um, See those fancy video cameras and that nice gentleman I was just speaking with? Yeah. For the first time. Ooh, a live stream. Is Edge and Christian show as good as Chappelle's show? I don't know, because I haven't watched enough of it. I want to watch it, I just don't have time. Um, the pinnacle of outdoor shows. A short history on wrestling video games. That, that history is not very short. Buzz. It's all turned into chicken salad. Ooh, all wellness violators in the elimination chamber. That'd be funny. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> speaking of making things not crappy, have you seen Cole? I feel like I should talk to him before our match tonight. He's going to show up right there. <laughs> uh, Spade Racing with a $1.99 Super Chat asked me when the next commentary track will be coming out. I'm going to try recording one this week, um, at least one this week. Uh, I know, I'm trying to, I want to keep that going, and uh, so hopefully it will, uh, yeah, it'll be happening soon. I'll be recording one this week and try and get it out at least by the end of the week. So thank you for asking, Spade. Um, new podcasts available. Oh, I can't wait to hear that. Uh, we'll get to that later. Uh, can I save or just automatically save? Well, I don't know. Has it? I don't know if it's fucking saved. I imagine it has. Yeah, I think it's fine. Um, I have not heard about Pac winning the Open the Dream Gate title. My favorite wrestling documentary. Hmm. I don't know what my favorite one of that is. It's my level at. Uh, let's do the tree. Can I? The brawler, stamina recovery, or body durability. Ooh. Let's see here. Momentum. Remove the turnbuckle. Carry the turnbuckle from the bottom of the ocean. Environmental offense. I guess let's just do this one. Ciao. Specialista. 
Beyond the Mass is a great documentary. Ooh, will Horse be back? I don't know. I gotta find him. Let's see here. Uh, let's keep the reversals going. If there's one thing I want my re my uh, like my wrestlers to be good at, it's reversing. <laughs> What do we got here? Running offense. He's a good runner. Ciao. Oh, my biggest pet peeve in wrestling at the moment? I don't know. Huh. Oh, shit. I like that. Leg power! I don't think... I can't think of my, my biggest pet peeve. I have a few. <laughs> no. Um, okay. Boom. All right. That's good. I think Alistair Black could do well in the main roster, but he's got to be booked well. That's the the big if, you know. Can build his reversals. He's gonna be really good at him. Um. There you go. Nah, not that one. Hmm. <laughs> There we go. Okay, now I'm done. Now I'm done with building his stuff up for now. Oh, Matt Davis with a $5 super chat says, Big Hoss McGraw being interviewed by Mike was the most hilarious thing he's seen all year. Cheers. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Um, okay. I'm done dicking around with this stuff. Let's do some actual matches. It's been an hour and a half almost. Uh, yeah. Let's do some elimination. Sean Bear. I like the idea that somebody had about who's been taken down by wellness violations. But, like, who's actively suspended? Is there anyone right now who's actively suspended for wellness violation? I don't think there is. Uh, but we can go through the history of people and see what happens. Uh, let's see here. Roman Reigns is an obvious one. So put him there. No. no. Uh, let's see here. Roman, he's violated wellness once. Um, <laughs> Landon Mickin James, the two-dollar super chat, asks if I think eating ass is mealy as fuck. Um, I don't know what mealy means, and I'm not gonna look it up right now. But thank you for your two-dollar super chat. You got me to say it. Um, who should I? Uh, Ziggler? Has he been suspended once? Uh, Pasca. Okay. Orton, I know, has been Orton anywhere in 13. 14. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that difference. Um, Dallin Superstars, Ray Mysterio has been suspended once. Um, Booker T, Yef Hardy. Oh, doggo. Uh, let's see here. Well, wait, wait. Is Booker T. Oh, King Booker. I keep forgetting. It's not Booker T. It's King Booker here. And who's last? When was... Z I, I forget when Ziggler was ever... I don't know. I'll take y'all's word for it that Ziggler was ever suspended, but I forget when that happened. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah. Let's do it. Spearing leukemia in the bone marrow. Was Lesnar? Oh, he might I, I. That sounds familiar. I feel like he was suspended when he was in OVW. But never, I don't think, when he was in the main roster. Oh, yeah, Regal was too. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Would I prefer Bray Wyatt to beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania instead of Lesnar? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of people I would have liked to see and beat Taker at WrestleMania. But I think Lesnar was fine. I didn't have a problem with that. Um, I maintain that if anyone was going to beat him, Lesnar's probably the best guy to do it. Because my whole reasoning for why I think Lesnar is a good choice, everyone's like, oh, it should have been a younger guy that Taker could give the rub to. Well, I think it had to be. Pff, nice. I, Jeff's already fucked up. So spend him again. I feel that Lesnar uh, was, you know, it couldn't be a young guy because there's the possibility of that investment not paying off. Because if you've got someone who's like, oh, we're going to put the Rockets to this guy and have him beat The Undertaker. Uh, and then he winds up getting fired or suspended or whatever, or just not panning out or gets injured all the time, then who did, who, did, who beat The Undertaker? You know, was it worth it? Now, I'm not saying that in the current situation, Lesnar beating The Undertaker made a difference. Um, but you see, that's why I think um, they should have just had uh, Reigns beat Lesnar at WrestleMania 31 and got it over with. Because that would have been the big deal. Roman Reigns beat the guy who beat The Undertaker. And then they fucked around so much with it this year. Um, you now Rey Mysterio's in now. Okay. Ziggler was in 2008. Okay, well, there you go. I must not have been paying attention or whatever. With a hand in his corner. Will I come back to SPW in Sacramento? If they want me, they will come back. Drug intake, but not which drug. Won't tell you which one. That's a secret. Oh, man. So, yeah, I still maintain that Lesnar is probably the best choice because he was an established guy. It was believable for him to beat The Undertaker. Um, you know... Kind of risky to try and give it to a younger guy. The last chance they had to give it to a younger guy was the guy who just got in the ring, Randy Orton. And they didn't want to do it, or Orton didn't want to be the one to, you know, put over, be put over by Taker. Um, I don't know. Will I ever do a shoot interview? Oh, excuse me. Will I ever do a shoot interview? Um, I don't know what anyone will interview me about, honestly. <laughs> I have not lived a, I've not had a stellar career or anything lengthy in any, in any, uh, any sense. What? <laughs> Ray Mysterio got out of that jam pretty quick. Just does some gravity defying. Oh, and Booker T's bleeding now, or is it Jeff? Oh, uh, in comes Roman Reigns. Shit, nope. Booker T kicks out. Yeah, he's really bleeding now. Uh, Alex Landry with $1 Canadian in Super Chat. Thank you very much, Alex. What's Big Hoss McGraw's 15%? It's about taxes. He doesn't want the government bugging him so they can know how much money he's making so he can pay taxes. Mike the Melissa Love Machine shoot interview. God, if only I had the stamina to maintain a character like that for long enough to do a shoot interview. Oh! Ray Mysterio saves Booker T there. Oh. Excuse me. Ooh. I will tell you the craziest wrestling story I experienced firsthand. And it's really like... It's kind of... Oh, Dolph Ziggler's in now. All oh, Everyone's in now. Everyone here is in. The last, the last man standing gets their violation wiped from their record. <laughs> um, I have collabed with WrestleTalk before. You know, we did our stuff. I still need to do more stuff with them with their channel. That was kind of the plan. <laughs> the craziest wrestling story I can recall experiencing was uh, I was in the locker room for a show. And um, it was the main event. It was for the championship. And uh, the referee... Basically fucked up the finish where the match ended before it was supposed to. I think the guy who ended up winning was going to win anyway, but they just basically went home early, essentially. And there was a big dust-up in the locker room after the fact. 
and the referee told the wrestler to go fuck himself, and it got very awkward and tense. And this was like my first year in wrestling, so I was just like, ah. I was just in the back of the locker room, minding my own business. That's probably just the craziest thing for me. Biggest rising star in the Indies. Uh, yeah, uh, that's a good. Yeah, Ethan Page is a good answer. I would say he's done very well for himself. Marco Stunt has had an incredible year up until his injury. Oh shit! Right in the knees and just flops back over. Oh wait, who got eliminated? Rey Mysterio is out. Rey Mysterio. He gets another suspension. <laughs> After three minutes of exhausted research, most positive that Dolph's suspension slipped from steroids. That's possible. Um, oh, well, congratulations, Felix. Later this month or next month, he's doing his finishing school with Booker T. Oh, shit! The stunner of fate! On Orton. One, two, that's for all the ear gauge messing with. Alex Lander with two more Canadian dollars in the super chat. Recommending everyone check out my NWF video. Thank you. <laughs> Roman Reigns with an elbow that Hardy sold even though it was nowhere near contact. Oh, Ziggler going to pin Booker T now, or King Booker. What was my favorite action figure line when I was a kid? Um... Probably to say either Ninja Turtles, oh shit, uh, or um, Star Wars, because those are really the oh and Power Rangers too. Excuse me. Who? Not oh, Kimbo kicks out again. Um, yeah, I uh, I was big into those action figures. Then after like Star Wars, I kind of fell out of favor with action figures. So now it's like I'm big into wrestling, but I don't have an association with playing with wrestling action figures as part of my childhood. This wasn't part of it. Um, my opinion on Don Callis, I think he's, uh, you know, I, I didn't watch him in his prime when he was, you know, um, when he was the Jackal or Cyrus the Virus, but I know I've heard him do interviews and stuff, and, I, and he's good on commentary, I think. Oh, shit, King Booker's gone, and now, oh, Jeff Hardy could be next, and what he's done with Impact Wrestling and making it relevant and interesting again has been a huge thing. Oh, shit, Hefe Hardy's eliminated. Two... Oh, man, we almost got down to two real quick. We got Roman, Orton, and Ziggles. Oh, shit! Alex Landry with another $2 Super Chat Canadian dollars. Any funny stories that video looking back? Um, I think it's funny that Sean Crossan found it and reached out to me, and I was able to interview him. That was kind of cool. Oh, sh <laughs> God! I think Ziggler went inside out for a second there. Oh! Splat! Oh, yes, that's right. There was a fight that broke out in the comments section between, I think it was, like, the brother of one of the kid wrestlers and some fans. Or, no, it was the brother of, like, Steve, like, the older guy. I remember that being, like, crazy. Opinion on Teddy Hart. Um, again, that's a guy who I, didn't, I haven't seen a whole lot of. I always read about him, like on the internet about how he was kind of fucking up a lot and like he really seemed to be um uh you know a guy with a lot of potential but had a bad attitude DeForest Craig asks but as far as Teddy Hart goes I'm glad he's cleaned up I'm glad he's doing well for himself in the indies um is the last Je DeForest Craig asks is the last Jedi is really that bad I love the last Jedi like I hate these you know it's like I don't know. There's like one or two things about The Last Jedi I didn't like, but there's one or two things about every movie that I adore that I, you know, also don't like. I think that Last Jedi hate is unfounded. Anyone who hates it, like, is bad, you know, to the point where it's like they want to, you know, sign a petition to get George Lucas to come back to the franchise after fans spent fucking years telling George Lucas to stay out of the franchise, to turn around like that, I think it's bullshit. Uh, favorite Star Wars. Ooh, what is my favorite Star Wars? Like, I think Empire is an easy one to go with. Um, I enjoyed. The, I've enjoyed the new ones. I've enjoyed Force Awakens and Last Jedi. Uh, Rogue One, I didn't care so much about. Haven't seen Solo, a Star Wars story. Orton is out. Um... 
You know, I don't know. I think yeah, Jedi. I think Return of the Jedi and Empire Strikes Back are probably my two favorites. Here we go. And I also like Revenge of the Sith. Of the prequels, Revenge of the Sith was my favorite. Someone asked me what my favorite post WCW death promotions that I liked. What my favorite one were, like, no, they were all bad. <laughs> That's why they didn't last. Like World Wrestling All Stars, XWF. All that shit, like, um, I think XWF just because it was so ridiculous. Oh, shit. Ziggles is going to the top of the pod. Oh, my God. <laughs> and he glitched. Uh, my opinion on Arquette and Cornette. Well, Cornette's entirely his opinion. I mean, he's made his thoughts known. It's like Roman Reigns pissed himself. Oh, but Orton, Roman kicked out. Uh, let's see here. When will I review XPW? I don't know. I mean, I gotta. That's something I gotta get into because XPW is like, that's hard to review that promotion because it was around for a long time and it put out a lot of shows. Um, oh, that's smart. Truth Commission, the Oddity. Oddity's all the way, man. They had Cartman as a, as a mascot and they came out to the ICP. Way better than Truth Commission. Um, I loved Wrestlelicious. Yes, Felix, I loved Wrestlelicious. Wrestlelicious, baby, yeah. I can't believe I missed an opportunity to make a joke about how Knobs and Heart love shitty promotions. Two. Oh shit! Ziggles kicked out of the spear, and now Roman's mad. <laughs> Wow, five hundred dollars for front row tickets to the Elimination Chamber. Oh shit! The Famouser. Oh, he's gonna set up for the Stupor Kick. Oh no! Roman Reigns got out again. Oh, what a clubbing blow to the back. Chad Roush, with a five dollars super chat, asks if there's any wrestlers I was a fan of, but then disappointed after meeting them. Oh shit! Ziller caught the spear, and Roman just, like, decapitated himself on the rope. Oh, no! God damn, this match is just all sorts of exciting. I'm trying to think of who I've met who I was disappointed by meeting. Um, I really can't say I've been disappointed by any wrestlers, because I'm just lucky to have met them, like, at all. And so, yeah, there's not one I can think of that disappointed me, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, they've all I've been, they've all um, Raven maybe I don't know Raven just because he's kind of not sociable but like that's because I was kind of more markish back then but um, I don't know yeah pretty much it I don't want to review more kid backyard feds that's like no that's kicking them while they're down <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. It's like, what what can you say about it? And what, what can I say about more than one of them? You know, like... Shit. What's it gonna do? Oh, shit! Going to the top again? Yeah! And that one wasn't so glitchy that time. Oh, my God. Their insides just turned to mush. Uh, how, do you do, how do you contribute to Super Chat? I don't know. I've actually never done it before. I'm sure someone will tell you where the contribution thing is. Review the chaperone. Oh, that's happening sooner than you think, my friend. Oh, Ziggler with a the death by a thousand elbows. Here comes the last one. Boom. What do I think about people hitting on Phalus? Wait, wait. Yes! <laughs> Dolph Ziggler wins! Due to death by a thousand elbows. After I love that. He did the top rope splash, then did the elbow drops, and that was the finish. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. That was something. And Ziggler now gets the suspension I never knew he had stricken from his record by the rules. Uh, is Rhino retiring? Is it all work? I mean, that might be a swan song. Um, let's see here. 
Ooh, a TLC triple tag. I'm, I'm doing all CPU here. I'm not fucking with any of this. Uh, I downloaded, here we go. Got to have AKI Man and THQ Man, who I downloaded today. You bet your ass I'm using them. Uh, here we go. Doom, doom, digga, digga, dum, dum, digga, digga, dum, dum, digga, digga, dum, dum. Uh, Landon and Mick and James with a $2 super chat asking if I have a favorite anime. I guess by default, my favorite anime is uh, Want to Be the Strongest in the World. No, that's not true. Tiger Mask W, because now I've watched two animes. So <laughs> Tiger Mask W is officially my favorite anime. And Chad Roush with another $2 super chat. And let's see here. Um, who, uh, bah, 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 bah. Who's Night Ghost? I don't even remember downloading him. Uh, here we go. Rolf Pigler. And we'll just have his partner be Dolph Ziggler. I gotta find some animal equivalent. Pigler and Ziggler. <laughs> um, and who else can I get? I found this Indoraptor thing. I don't know what this is, but it's freaky as hell, and I got to look at it. I guess his partner will be um, Night Ghost. Here we go. Yes, Tiger Mass W did give us tits! Um, BM Gray asks in a $5 super chat. What did I think of the... Well, first of all, I don't, want, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to do any spoilers on this, this live stream about the Infinity War. It's been long enough. Yeah, so what I think about the heel victory in Infinity War? Um, I don't know. I mean, same thing as Empire Strikes Back. You ought to have, like, the, uh, the heels win every once in a while. That's what builds to, you know, the, the better ending, the, the more satisfying finish, or, uh, finish with the baby face comeback. So here we have three tag teams here. You've got... Um, Rolf Pigler and Dolph Ziggler going against AKI Man and THQ Man, or is he Aki Man? I don't know. Versus Indoraptor and Night Ghost. <laughs> oh, the Indoraptors from the new Jurassic Park. Well, that's. I don't think that's a dinosaur. I'm just saying. Will I review the Marine 6? Yes. There's a lot of big movies that are coming up down the pike for review in the next couple of months. They will be happening, so. Do I still play 80s Returns? I haven't played in a while, but I liked it when I played it. Um, will, I, will I review Pro Rest No Hiyoshi Aztec Kaiser? I know you've uh, told me about that, Orion. I'd like to do that. Sure, I should write that down. In fact. Oh, Rolf Pigler and Indoraptor are all out. Let me write this down so I don't forget it. Uh, well, thank you, Gaming with JT. Oh, yes, there's a, if you watch SmackDown, you'll know there's a Marine 6, because The Miz talks about it all the time. Pro-Res... Not progress, not progress, no rest. No... Hoshi... Aztec Kaiser. That is a lot of funny sounds. <laughs> Oh, Jessica Kim, big fan of the show. Good to see you here in the chat. What do you think about everyone? Oh, yeah. Somebody asked me, yeah, Chris, the movie you were asked, I meant to respond to that. But the hate on Phelous in the Robin Down Under review. Uh, you know, people are entitled to their opinions. I don't care because I'm a fan of Phelous. And uh, it was a treat for me to get to work with him on a review. So I like Phelous' style. I like his delivery. So... I just can't believe there's a pig mask in this game. That's weird. When's the next episode of Cape Kitchen? Uh, I don't know when. It's I'm hoping in the next couple weeks. I just like got so behind on my work, and so it was just an effort trying to catch up to stuff. So I want to do Cape Kitchen, if not this week by next week. Ooh. A look at the developmental companies. 
I think I kind of did, in a way, a developmental company review when I did my most forgettable Ruthless Aggression stars because <laughs> it was all the developmental guys that like, just washed out. Um, when will 13-year-old Brian Zane come back? I don't know. I don't know if he's coming back next. Do I know any German words? Nine. Um, I, I knew that he and... I knew that Phelan and Obscurus Lupa were dating. I didn't know they were married at this point. We'll also talk to them. What prompted Kayfabe Kitchen? Um, I don't know. I, I, I want to review the cookbook, but I didn't know how to do it. And I thought, well, why don't I just make a cooking show? And that's kind of how I did it. If I could be a wrestler, which I was, what would my finisher be? It was a DDT. What would, I, what would my gimmick be? I didn't have one. And what would my wrestling style be? Jobber. <laughs> that's to answer your questions. Oh shit. Night Ghost trying to get up those ladder, but then AKI Man stops him. Ziggler going up top end. Ziggler's like the biggest daredevil in this game. He's taking all the big risks. Yas! Oh, a giant crossbody from the top on a THQ man. It looks like he's setting up because he can't let the, mo the moment breathe. He's got set up for a finisher, but THQ man fights him off. Where's Austin talking? So he's in my office. I, uh, my theme song, I had a couple. I came out to I Believe in a Thing Called Love by The Darkness once or twice. I also came out to um, The Broken by Fireball Ministry. It's the only song I know of theirs that exists. And the only reason I had it as my theme is because I heard it in a WWE game and I loved it. <laughs> I'm going to do a wrestling show on my gaming channel? No. Um... Do I think of Billy Corgan in NWA sometimes? As far as what do I think about it? I think it's cool. Oh, shit! AKI okay, just ate shot the ladder. These rope physics are ridiculous, by the way. Um, Night Ghost attacking him with a table. AKI okay, may take a bump. Oh, man. Oh, Famouser out of nowhere on the Aki Man. Who's now powdering out of the ring? Oh, but Ghost Knight's not gonna let him. Night Ghost. Uh, what do I think about Rey Mysterio's current status? What direction should he head in? I mean, I like his position right now. It's just kind of like somebody who's essentially helping the talent get over. Oh God, he's gonna fall off through the table! Come on, Piggy! Come on, Rolf! Oh shit! No one's fighting anymore because he won. Is no one gonna stop him? Is no one gonna stop Night Ghost? There's Ziggler, finally. Finally. Indoraptor, what's he got in mind? Oh, shit. He's got the mandible claw. Is someone going to stop this fool? What's going on? Rhea 205. I think it'd be, it's like, I don't think, I think it's a bit of a demotion if Ray goes to 205 Live. But wouldn't it be cool if he kind of became like the figurehead of that show and like helped breathe new heights? Um, I will review the Marine 6 in 2019, first quarter 2019. You will see Marine 6 review. Mm, the most boring wrestling match I ever watched. I don't know. If it was so boring, I wouldn't remember it. That'd be, a, that'd be awesome for someone making a 2K or a Ukes man, a modern era, aka THQ man. I mean, the revival, the whole teasing with the Young Bucks thing, like, they're working people, I think, more than anything. I'm sure if the revival eventually get cut, then yeah, I'm sure one of the first things they'll do is wrestle the Young Bucks in whatever promotion they happen to see them in. But, um, well, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, shit, Indoraptor going for the briefcase, and he gets it. The random-ass team of Team Indoraptor wins the day. Uh, Pepsi man. Oh, I should review the NWA invasion. Wow, what a great view of that column! <laughs> I called nothing in this match. I was so busy. Ooh, a top eight worst NWA members. I should do that. Here are your winners. Yay, we did it.
Now let's go eat some souls. Mmm. Pros, cons, 2K18 of this year's game. I don't know, like, um, I really haven't, I really haven't absorbed enough of this game to really compare 2K18 and 2K19, and I haven't done any online with this one, so, like, I'm not sure. Um, let's do some more wacky shit. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's do some more wacky people. Colonel Sanders, there's my guy. Hank Hill, gotta have Hank Hill. Uh, breast cancer cane, yeah. And who else do I want to try and... and... Purple Haymaker. Against... Uh, let's put him against... The Nintendo heels. What's the other attire? What the heck's Colonel Sanders Bowser? What the hell? Uh, we are going to do some custom match rolls. It's not going to be just a one spot. Uh, Iron Man tables match. For 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, let's give them all finishers. <laughs> Maybe not big head mode. Bill Dell and Boomhauer. Yeah, this is kind of a random thrown together team on the left. Yeah, I think the revival, will get, I think they are getting buried. It's just not a fun feud. It's such a weird feud to have because Lucha House Party is supposed to be the baby faces, yet they're 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 it's a heel scenario where they're constantly have the numbers advantage. And they beat, you know, was it Dawson yesterday? Uh three on one? What the fuck's the point? I do like the idea of an Iron Man tables match. Best of nine tables match. Oh shit, folks. We are in for a treat. Bowser's flat all over the place. <laughs> That's my purse. I don't know you. For some reason, Bowser's like the Colonel Sanders vibe going on here. I don't know what the deal is with that. Purple Haymaker going against Waluigi now. Who honestly is too bulky. It's not realistic enough. Game. Uh, I don't know much about the soccer football. I don't. Um... Uh, <laughs> Felix, I once saw an indie show where they over at the table, and the first time someone laid on it, it broke, and they lost. <laughs> uh, what sp I saw a spot on Twitter. I saw like a, a video posted. I don't know who it was, but it was a table spot. The dude was on the table, and like as the wrestler came off the top rope to jump on him, the wrestler veed up, and like the mo just the force of his ass and his hips going into the table caused the table to break before the contact was made. Oh, the, the office from Super Mario Odyssey. There you go. <laughs> uh, my thoughts on Dave Meltzer? I think Meltzer's fine. I, I've, I've talked to him several times. I actually remember in Manchester, he and I got to our hotel for WrestleCon this year. He and I got to the hotel at the same time in different taxis. And our Oh, shit! Team Bowser with the first point drives Hank Hill to the table. Um, anyway, um, yeah, we had a nice chat in the lobby while we were waiting for our hotel rooms to get ready, and I've talked to him a few times when he's been to the APW shows, and, um, uh, yeah, I like talking to him. I mean, people get mad at his opinions, but it's like, I think people get mad because, oh, they want to say he gets stuff wrong, but I think he gets things more right than wrong than anything else, and... What I think is interesting is how people get mad at what Meltzer does because Mel it, it's it's it sucks because Meltzer is doing a service like 
he's doing this, and yes, he's making money off it, but he's also providing a service to people, and people are shitting on him for it, and he's doing it for you. He's not doing it for himself, he's doing it to educate fans who want to know, and people get pissed about it, you know? Like, wrestlers getting pissed about it back in the 80s, I understand, because that's when, Ke oh shit, Hank Hill threw two tables now! Oh my god, Team Nintendo Heel is fucking Hank Hill up right now. But is Hank Hill going to get his heat back? I think he will. Oh shit, Hank Hill, like, immediately no-sells the table spot, by the way. Opinion on England? I mean, yeah, I saw. I liked what I saw of it. I didn't get a chance to hang out that much there. But no, I mean, like, yeah, with Meltzer, it's like he's an acquired taste. If people don't like the backstage stuff, then they won't like Meltzer for the speculation, I guess. But I don't, I don't have a problem with him. Yeah, like, I, I say you take Meltzer the same way you should take guys like Pritchard and Bischoff and um, all those guys, you know? They're entertaining people. They have good stories. They have good insight. But ultimately, they all have, like, a narrative they want to sell, especially with the guys in the Conradiverse, you know, Bischoff, Shivani, lesser extent Shivani. More pressured and, and Bischoff than anyone else, I feel. It's like the whole thing with, like, the debate of was Jerry Jarrett supposed to be the guy in charge if Vincent Mann got, you know, convicted of, of the steroid trial and everything and went to jail, I think everyone agrees, except for, you know, Bruce Pritchard and Pat Patterson, that that was the case. The only reason Bruce and Pat say no is they didn't like Jerry Jarrett. So, like, but then when everyone else of a sound mind says the other thing, then, you know. Um, I, you know, I, I was just starting to watch the Bischoff TEDx talk yesterday. I didn't finish it. But I do want to watch it. Uh, someone asked what I think about Osprey's style. You know, like, for his sake, I wish he toned it down a little bit so he, you know, didn't have to retire at an early age. And who knows? He might do that still. But I don't, it's like, when I heard about, like, the kind of injuries he already had at the age of 24, I'm like, that's ridiculous. Like, he should slow down for that. Mm. Yes, the Conrad vs. My Name for all of his podcasts, and I think it's fitting because they're all kind of sil follow a similar format. Uh, someone asked if I have considered doing commentary. I've been doing commentary. Like, I did commentary for uh, the WCWC for about four months worth of television. Uh, they actually let me go recently. Uh, and there's no hard feelings, just... Um, it was uh, not in the budget anymore for me to be there. So I cost too much for them, apparently. But there's always a chance to come back. Um, I don't know what the gold does under the Bowser costume or what moves that they gave them. I wish... Is there is there someone keeping score here? Because I want to know who's actually, like... I know that Team Bowser got two up on Hank Hill immediately. But so far, I haven't seen any other tables you set up. Damn it, Bobby. Uh, no, I made none of these CAWs. I don't have the time or the patience to do this shit. So I just go to Community Creations and kind of like look around and see what, what's good. Great Kali versus... Uh, oh, Team Hill has... Oh, that's right. Hank put a put a Waluigi through a table right after he got put through the table. So yes, it's 2-1 it's to one right now. Team Bowser. Thank you, TJ Fritz for being the scorekeeper. We have less than three and a half minutes to go in this matchup here. Man, team, oh man, the, the, the stunner of fate. Damn it, Bobby Lashley. Oh man, two of them. Now if only Hank Hill could translate those uh, takedowns into some table moves. Why don't I wrestle anymore? Because I sucked. <laughs> That's why. It was no good. Kane's is getting his he's getting his reps in. Man, somebody needs to bring in a table and do something here. My favorite just Joe promo. His last one.
I wonder if someone's made David Arquette in Community Creations. I'm really uh, upset because I saw a video on Twitter a few days ago of a bunch of like community creation or CAWs of like a lot of the semi-fictional wrestlers from World Tour and they recreated the arenas and everything but it was Xbox One. I'm on PS4. Like, damn it. I need someone to make that stuff. Um, elimination tables max. Not a bad idea. Favorite AE podcast episode. Uh, probably have to go with Rage Party, Heroes of Wrestling, or XWF, one of the more recent ones. Uh, those are all great. And like, it's funny because those are all like non-canon. Those are all like the Bono episodes. But uh, those are the ones that stick with me the most. Hank and Bobby versus Braun and Nicholas. Nicholas is in this game. I should try and find Bobby Hill. <clears throat> Down to 90 seconds. Come on, Hank. You got to do it for Bobby. You got to win this one. Get the table. He's, go He's trying. He okay. Table's going to get set up. Shit, Hank's going for it. This could be, it could establish a tie. If Hank gets around to, nope. <laughs> Bowser says, no, sir. No table spots today. Will I try the Million Dollar Tower? I just tried the Million Dollar Tower, actually. I started this by trying the Million Dollar Tower. I got wrecked by Bobby Roode, so I didn't make it past the first round. <laughs> oh, man. We have 40 seconds. Are we going to get a table spot here? Come on, man. Finish this match strong. Hank Hill. He's going to go for it. Are we going to see it? Yeah, we're going to get a tie. Uh, oh, what's going to happen? It's probably going to end in a tie or a draw. Shit, we're tied up. Hank Hill has tied it up for his team after going through two tables. Oh, shit. Bowser's bringing the third table. There's less than 20 seconds to go. Are we going to try and get a spot in here? Oh, shit. Purple Haymaker with the F5 on the Bowser. If only it were through a table. Eight. Oh, we're not going to get a table spot. Doing good, Clifton Knight. Doing good now. Shit got exciting for a second. Oh, knee to the gut. It's a draw. Oh, what a bummer. <laughs> Man. It's too bad. That is too bad. All right. Well, now we got to do some more wild shit. So let's do the Ramble Rumble. Why not? Um, I want to do... Uh, should I go wacky or should I go WCW? Because I feel like I want to go wacky. Uh, let's go... Well, yeah. Oops, hang on. Um... Got Leonardo there. He's good. THQ man, you're good. To, you're good to stay. El Mago. Oh, that's from the uh, story mode, isn't it? No, keep it. Taking him out. Okay. All right. You, 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 you twisted my arm. Let's do WCW. <laughs> so still losing him. Got to keep him for WCW. Um. We'll keep him for WCW, obviously for WCW, for THQ, man. Um, Bam Bam, he stays. Brett stays. Sting stays. Uh, not that savage. Let's go with the later one. And Rude stays. Okay, so who are we going to get? Who from WCW is going to come back? we got to put AKI Man in there. Um, the Evolved Champions. Street Profits. Uh, let's see here. Big Bubba, technically. The Giant. What the fuck's the difference? <laughs> That's why I hate about showcase mode. It's like, these shouldn't be playable characters, if we're being perfectly honest. British Bulldog. Oh, the Butcher. Gotta represent, uh, you know, Dungeon of Doom. Chris Jeremico. Cole Quinn. Uh, DDP, got to have him in there. Dusty Rose. 
And who we got? How many spots do I have? 16, okay. Gotta be judicious. Goldbergo. Senior Goldbergo. Let's put Hogan in there. I just downloaded him today. Um, get Jimmy Jam. R.I.P. Jimmy Jam. Jushin Liger when he wrestled Pillman that one time. Kevin Nash. Uh, let's get King Booker, I guess. Lex Luger. Generic Biddle. Uh, let's see here. What's up with DDCPs? What's up with everyone's hair? Nobody's hair in this game looks good. <laughs> Questioning one's hair. Remember Nicholas? Money in the Bank winner. That's important. Otis Dozovich. Where's Tucky? Um... Randy Marsh. Got to get the later era Randy Savage, Stereo, Flare Dog, Steamboat Dog, Gibson Dog. What am I doing? Uh, Piper. Okay, now I got my, okay, I have one spot left. Who's it going to go to? I got Sting. Got all the Stings. Thank you, Stings. Uh, ooh. Well, let, me look, let me look at my choices real quick. Uh, ooh. I think my last spot's going to go to Vader. There you go. What we have here is a nice old-fashioned WCW um, thingamajig. And, yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Sucks I can't. Let's do big head mode. Why not? Oh, Austin. Yeah. Yeah, what? It's like, what's the difference between the damn steamboats? What's the difference between the Braves, the Ortons? There's no difference. There's Sting, Sting is in there. Sting is in there. Oh, my God. I knew Dusty Rhodes had a big head, but this is ridiculous. This is gonna get when the ring fills up. It's gonna get pretty ridiculous. My dog, uh, my dog over here, her breed. I think she's a mix. She's like German Shepherd Ridgeback mix, and her name's officially Mocha, but I call her Doggo for the purpose of this. Yeah, well, of course, THQ and AKI might are still here. It's WCW. Come on, Goldbergo. Ooh, my favorite late night jacked match. Might actually have one of those. <laughs> yeah, it's big head mode, man. Arcade style coming back. Okay, you know what? Y'all got to talk amongst yourselves because I got to use the restroom in a major way. But you watch this and tell me what I missed. I'll be right back. Almost tripped over my dog. I'll be right back. Gotta go to the P corner. Okay, I'm coming back. All right. Boom. All right. <laughs> Be glad I used the silencer. I, I, I aim for the side of the bowl because I'm a gentleman. All right, here we go. Where are we at now? Here comes the giant. We got Jericho and Savage in now. Oh, we lost to Hennig. Okay. <laughs> Oh, sh oh, man. Man, that's so devastating with the big head mode. That was That's what I call a live stream, guys. I know I didn't wash my hands because my dick clean. 
I'm not handling food. I'm fine. <laughs> what numbers? Oh, I should have got the shot master. I'm sure somebody's made him already. Oh, here comes Piper. Oh, man, these wrestlers are so top-heavy. It's going to be easier to eliminate them. To go over the top. Here comes the hot rod. Uh, Piper going to the top rope because, you know, that's what he liked to do. <laughs> he fucking whipped it. No, I bought these pants after I got married. Thank you for asking. There we go. Who has more potential, Johnny Gargano or Adam Cole? On the main roster, I would argue Adam Cole? I don't know. I, I can't put my finger on as to why. They're both great workers, but, you know. Finger on controller next time. <laughs> hey, in a, in, a, in a couple days, all the bacteria is going to go away from this thing. <laughs> oh, man, someone should make Wildcat Willie. Look at the detail, the tattoos on Bam Bam's head there. Although I don't get the cutoff, but the bottom of the cranium is really unsettling for all these guys. Ugh. Kevin Nash. Yeah, you're. I don't know how you could confuse Shannon Moore, or Sean O'Hare with Shannon Thorne. I don't know how you did that. Here comes Kevin Nash. Nash not giving a shit. Oh, excuse me. I don't know. I don't. It's funny. I watch NXT with my wife now, and it took her a while to get. Oh shit! I'll go, go, bear, go! No, he stays. Who got eliminated though? Someone got eliminated. Um, but now, like, oh shit, Lex Luger. But it was hard for her to get into it at first, cause like, the all everyone in NXT looks the same. They're all just like. Skinny white dudes with facial hair. That's all it really is now, is what indie wrestling is in a nutshell. Boom! Look at all these mullets in glorious HD. Lex Luger, who looks nothing like Lex Luger. Macho Man is out. Total forehead, Lex Luger. Missing all these eliminations. Um, oh, Dusty Rose is out. Oh, Giant's gone. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> I wonder what a great with a match between Great Kali and Giant Gonzalez would have looked like. I know we had Great Kali and Giant Silva in a match once in Japan, and that was dog shit. So I can imagine Great Kali and uh, uh, Gonzalez would be equally bad. Good lord, gigantism! Is Big Hoss McGraw related to Bonesaw McGraw? I don't know if they are. It's news to me. Well, let's give a Nash go for He's going to powerbomb Bam Bam. God, in real life, I would be amazed if somebody powerbombed Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh, man. Here comes Vader. His body's almost as big as his head. Poor Kevin Nash. He's just reaching for things that aren't there. Uh, hashtag War Machine, Tony Nese. <laughs> she laughs every time she sees Lars Sullivan because of his face. He was like, ah, like that. She can't stop laughing about it. Here comes Robert Gibson. Man, so when Vader's eye pops out, it's going to look really scary with the big head mode. Man, Bam Bam's got that mobility, hobility, and the Joe ability. Did they get Robert Gibson's uh, cross eye correctly in this game? I don't think they did. Oh, uh, Goldberg's out. Oh, shit! <laughs> I'll never know if they got Robert Gibson's eye correct. Because he just got thrown the fuck out. Yeah, if you watch NXT on, like, Hulu or whatever, it's easy peasy, man. It goes too fast. Well, here was British Bulldog. Trying 
You could have been a sumo. Look at this. I feel everyone's size is kind of the same. It's like optical illusion. With big head mode, everyone's kind of the same size now. <laughs> Robert Gibson became champion in your universe mode. It's awesome. Talk about some weird alternate dimension. All right, number 14, it's the big boss man. Well, Bam Bam, I, you should be in the Hall of Fame. You'll get in there. But they can only allow one dead person per year, and so it's a long list, unfortunately. Huh. I'd love to see Shayna Baszler get called I, blah, Let me say that again. I'd love to see Shayna Baszler get called up at some point. I think... I feel like being the not famous one of the four horsewomen, or not being as famous as Rousey, has given her a great gift. You can trust the boss is eating Kevin Nash. But it's a great gift because, you know, the the expectations were so much lower for her. Uh, and so she can have this gradual climb as a heel wrestler and be super convincing. And, you know, she can be like... Uh, a great counter to Ronda Rousey in that sense. Oh, shit. Come on, Bubba. There's Big Bubba Rogers. I mean, he's in the Hall of Fame. Explain big head mode as Vince Russo. Let me tell you this something, bro. You're going to appreciate this one, bro. It's called big head mode. All the wrestlers are going to get gigantism from drinking a special soda, bro. And their heads are going to be bigger than their bodies. Their brains are also going to grow in proportion to the rest of their heads, bro. Their teeth, their noses, their eyeballs, everything, bro. You're going to appreciate this one, bro. Let me be perfectly clear. Big head mode, bro. Big head bro. Concussions are going to go through the roof. W-A-W? I've never heard of that one. I've heard of W-X-O. I've got a lot of requests to do that one. So I'll do that one eventually. DDP. That mullet flapping around. Jushin Liger. Whoever made this Jushin Liger did a pretty good job. That referee right there was supposed to be in the ring! Um, have I liked wrestling all my life? No. I Well, I liked it. I didn't like it until I was like 13 years old. And... Uh, I don't think I ever stopped liking it, but I stopped watching it for a few years, like, in, uh, I want to say the uh, early 2010s. <laughs> Rey Mysterio looks like a damn bobblehead, <laughs> and he's bleeding instantly. I swear to God, bro, big head mode means more brain hemorrhages, bro. People are going to be bleeding out their noses and their whatever, bro. Jesus. Rey Mysterio looks ridiculous in big head mode. Got some people who've been there for a long time. Uh, Boss Man's been there a while. Kevin Nash has been there a long time. He was number nine, I think. He's still in it. He's doing the two suite. Man, with big head mode, there's actually not as much of a height disparity between Nash and Mysterio. And my parents watched me wrestle. Uh, my dad went to a couple shows of mine very early on, and never since. Um, mom, my mom went to one show of mine. Oh shit! I'm just Nash. Spoke too soon. The bulldogs out. <laughs> Who's gonna beat Brock for the belt? I don't even know, man. Like. No one will beat Brock for the belt. He will die as champion. I'm making a bold prediction right now. Oh, man. <laughs> this Booger T's hair going to render out. It's ridiculous. Uh, Bret Hart has not been in here yet. He is in the running. He's there. I think Renee as a commentator is good. I think she should have been a commentator for SmackDown so she wouldn't deal with all this bullshit with Dean Ambrose. <laughs> like, so she wouldn't be constantly asked, What's your husband thinking? I don't know. 
Oh, how goes Booker? Oh, she was super excited with that announcement. Bianca Belair, big head mode. Oh, man, I want to see that. I want to see how that ponytail plays out. Booker T hit Rick James. Oh, Ray's out. Okay. We got Big Bubba, the man called Vader, Big Van Vader, and DDP. And out goes Big Bubba. He's out. He's got DDP and Vader. Oh. All right, here comes at number 20, Brett the Hitman Hart. Oh, splat. Right on his big old face. His big fucking face. This Kane, Kane's in the game, but he's not in this, uh, not in this match. Hmm. Oh, WAW's the fed page was in. I am fighting with my family movie. Like, it looks interesting. But I don't know if I want to watch it. Who wore better comes back next week. It's not happening this week. It's on sabbatical, but LA Confidential is going to be reviewed tomorrow. Well, thanks for watching, Untitled. Ricky Morton at 21. Oh, we missed out. I actually, I, I, met, I met Ricky Morton... Um, when I was at WrestleCon last, and I asked him if he really played guitar at the, I, I talked to him about the learning the ropes and his appearance. Um, oh, I missed a super chat from two by two dollar of two dollars from Screaming Mine. Thank you, Screaming Mine. That must be when I was pissing. Um, but no, I asked him about learning the ropes, and he talked about that. He says, "I'll play guitar myself." Like I don't know if I believe him or not, but. He said that, you know, he did the guitar and the vocals for that song. Sure. <laughs> uh, Mazel Tov to Alistair Black and Zelina Vega tying the knot. Jeremy Bauman wanted me to talk about it. Those are my thoughts. They deserve happiness. Here we go. Who's next? AKI man, WCW Revenge in full effect. I think Vader's the only man. No, that's not true. Uh, Vader and Ricky Morton are the two people in this ring right now who are not in WCW Revenge. Um, I accept, I'll accept PSN requests. I'm not like, accepting them right now. Oh, Hart's gone. I'm not accepting them right now. I'm not going to do online. Shit, who was that? Vader's gone. Um, I didn't watch any of the World of Sport Revival stuff. All right, who's next? Tish Q Man! All right. The greatest tag team. They're reunited here. Boom. It's kind of like Batman with that helmet. I don't know what happened. That was so random. Uh, it just took a shit. For no reason. Um, but we're back. Hopefully it's all one stream. I hope the guy that's not broken up two videos. I'm going to be pissed. It's going to end on me shittily singing a song from Learning the Ropes. Oh. <laughs> Clifton Knight. He's the real MVP with a $20 super chat saying... At WrestleCon, Ricky Morton told me he had been drinking, so he needed to borrow my car so he didn't wreck his. Jesus. That sounds like Ricky Morton. And now we get Sting in there. We got the Booty Man. Slash the Man with No Name. Slash the Zodiac. Man, my favorite wrestling pay-per-view of all time. I don't know. Every paper, I guess it had to be probably Mania 19 because it's the one I went to. The first one I went to. THQ, man, why are you trying to eliminate your brother? Uh, I'm an Oscar fan. Yeah, I like Oscar. I hope she does well in the TLC match and everything. It's very interesting what they've done with her this year. Okay, uh, by the way, when this match ends, I'm probably going to wrap the stream up because i got to eat and get back to work. Mm. 
Which pay-per-views have I attended live? Um, I've attended Manias 19, 31, 32, 33, and 34. I have attended um, Money in the Bank 2016, No Mercy 08. And I think those are the shows I've seen live for pay-per-views. Yeah. Do I do any work outside of wrestling? Well, I mean, my channel is my work. And then when I wrestle, when I perform at shows, that's that. And so that's pretty much it. Here we go. What's coming up next? It's almost uh, just past 12. It's almost quarter to one for me. Oh, shit. Let's see what Hollywood Hogan looks like in big head mode at 29. Oh, no. Oh, my God. His head just piling a grape. That hair looks ridiculous. Hogan right now, that scan, it looks like, um, do you remember the Will Vinton Christmas special? Uh, the Claymation Christmas special, or the California Raisins doing their own version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and one of the Raisins had a giant glowing red nose. But that's what that reminds me of right now. Oh, Steamboat's gone. Here we go. Number 30 is Ric Flair. Oh, boy. Look at these luminaries here. You've got Hogan, Sting, Flair, AKI Man, THQ Man, and Brutus the fucking Barber Beefcake. What am I have for lunch? I'm having some leftover uh, stir-fry I made last night for dinner, I think. Oh, Hogan goes to swing, but he can't hit him. So many giant heads. So little time. All right, place your bets. This is your final six. Oh, no, final five. Final, uh, okay. Final five. Beefcake's out. What the fuck's flares flopping around? Where's Mighty Maccabee? Well, he never worked WCW, did he? Who'd he ever beat? Just the Iron Sheik. Oh, flares out. Oh, crap. Okay. So you got the uh, you've got the main event of Starcade '97, and you've got AKI Man and THQ Man. The final four. Do you think Beefcake got women? Oh, I know Beefcake got the tail. I know he did. And I just I can't believe he wouldn't. Uh, David Holland wants to know. How long have I been married? If I have kids, yeah, I've been married for eight years. I got two wonderful kiddos. Oh shit! A guy man just fell, fell in his face. Man, holding with big head mode doesn't seem that different, to be honest. Uh, era, which era is my all-time favorite? Probably add to era because it's the era I came up in. Uh, there's stuff that's problematic about it. The more I watch, like, the early 2000s, like, 01, 2000, 2001, like, that was, like, that's the prime time, I think, for characters, for shows, for match quality, storylines. There's questionable stuff, but there always is. Right, here we go. Come on. This Final Four is getting very intense. Mighty McAvee's not in this match, man. Oh shit! AKI man's gone! THQ man could be next! Press slam. Here we go! Really? What are my views on World of Sport? I haven't watched any World of Sport. Either the original or the revival, so I couldn't really tell you. Alright, oh shit! Oh, Hogan! And THQ man double teaming on Sting. Now Hogan saying, "This is where the power lies, brother." Uh, yeah, Felix. Actually, you did meet me before. You met me right before. Yeah, right before my wedding, basically. Uh, the invasion was probably one of the biggest. Probably one of the biggest missed opportunities for sure. I think I, I, think I said as much in my review of it. Oh, OSW gave me a shout out. Well, that's nice. Give me a time code on that one. 
Oh shit! We're down to Hogan and Sting, brother. NWO versus WCW Starcade '97. Oh man, you really, you really couldn't ask for a better finals for the uh, the Royal Rumble here. And watch just right away. No, nope. <laughs> go home, Sting. You're drunk. You're taking pills and drinking in front of a mirror again. I have not watched uh, NXT UK. Oh shit, Hogan's gone! Sting wins! <laughs> Flares flip flopping around. Ah! Well, that was something. Well, thank you all so much for watching this. I'm going to wrap this up right now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you all so much for those of you who uh, submitted your super chats. I really appreciate that. And um, again, if you haven't, if, if you're on Patreon, you should check out Wrestling's bet, uh, Best Ripoffs. That video just dropped on Patreon today. It's going to go on YouTube uh, publicly on Thursday. And um, what else? Yeah, I'll be coming back here probably next week for another live stream, and that's either going to be World Tour or Fire Pro, depending on how I feel. And uh, the poll I ran today had, had World Tour second place behind this, so I'll probably just do World Tour. Or I might do Story Mode some more, I don't know. But um, we will have some fun. And uh, tomorrow, Know Who Wore It Better, it's going to be my review of Joey Janela's L.A. Confidential. It's kind of an outside-the-box thing. It's going to be different than uh, what we're used to on Wednesdays. But I hope everyone enjoys it. And, uh, yeah, I think we're going to have a good old time to close out 2018. Got a lot of stuff planned for this month. So I'm Brian Zane, and I'll see you next time.